All right, let's move from jobs to people who have just finished their jobs, jobs and retired from them. Treasury Board President announced, uh, President announced a deal today with retired public servants to deal with their health benefits. Let's discuss the deal with the minister who did the negotiations. Tony Clement joins us live from the foyer of the House of Commons. Uh, minister Clement, bottom line here, what's happened with the retirees' benefits? What have you done to them? Well, look, uh, we've got a good deal for taxpayers. We've uh, now established a new voluntary supplementary retirement health care benefits plan, which is a lot closer to private sector norms and other public sectors. Uh, that saves uh, for the taxpayers and for the Treasury about $1.1 billion per year uh, every year for the next six years, so about $6.7 billion in total. Uh, we've done so in a way which I think is fair to retirees. We've uh, softened the blow. If you're under a certain, uh, uh, certain income as a retiree, uh, you do, you're not affected by these changes. For the average retiree, it means about $24 a month extra per year, which is, I think, fair and reasonable. And uh, the plan, of course, is sustainable for the future as well. Bottom line, how, how did you get this deal? I would have thought you'd be there'd be howls of protest bouncing off the walls around Parliament Hill. How did you manage to pull it off? Was it the fact that you said, do it or I'm going to legislate it into place? Well, look, I, we, we've been negotiating actually for uh, many months on this, and uh, certainly uh, the negotiations uh, have been uh, challenging at times. But I think at the end of the day, uh, the uh, labor union negotiators realized that this plan is still a very good plan uh, and uh, a lot of taxpayers don't have a plan like this. It's, it's, it's quite a good plan still and it uh, certainly makes sense and most taxpayers would agree for uh, each of the recipients or beneficiaries to pay 50% of the cost of the benefits is very reasonable. Minister Cohen, is this the, sort of the final sacrifice the retirees will have to make uh, for deficit elimination, or is there more to come from their benefits? Well, these are public sector retirees, and we, what we've said as part of this deal is that there will be no other uh, negative changes to the uh, retiree benefit plan uh, till 2019, so they've got a bit of certainty on that front. As I say, we've cushioned the blow for uh, low-income retirees. We, we're phasing this in over a five-year period, which I think, uh, again, is reasonable. But at the same time, I think it's a much more representative plan that you would have in the private sector or other public sectors. And once again, you're saving the taxpayers and the Treasury $6.7 billion. So, yeah, we put a little water in our wine, Don, uh, for sure, uh, uh, in terms of the negotiation. They did as well, and that's how you get a deal. That's true. Now, where you mentioned there's more savings to be found. Where are you looking? Well, we continue to work. Part of my role as president of the Treasury Board is always to look for uh, savings. We're looking at back office operations, other things that are done sort of behind the scenes in government that doesn't affect the frontline services to the public, but can be done in a much more efficient manner. So there's a lot of stuff that goes on uh, that... Uh, you know, is really duplication. I, I use the examples of, you know, before we got involved in doing some of the consolidations, every department and agency had an HR department. Every department and agency had a payroll department. Every department and agency right. had an IT services department. So once you start collapsing those walls, you can get some real savings without impacting on the services delivered. Uh, you're starting with the public service unions for your, your workers uh, in the government, I think it's next month or so, uh, probably won't be as easy, but are you going to be going after them in similar, in similar ways? Well, uh, you should know that we are, in fact, uh, starting the negotiations. We've already started the negotiations for the next uh, set of collective agreements. Uh, uh, your viewers should know that I've got uh, to now, now negotiate 27 different collective agreements with public sector unions, about 17 wow. bargaining agents. So that's going to be going on for the next year. So I'll be a, a busy uh, energizer bunny, uh, but at the same time, uh, one of the things that we put in the shop window, uh, as your viewers might be aware, is uh, absenteeism in the public service, uh, really reforming the sick pay system, modernizing it, making it more, uh, more comprehensive for people who want to get well uh, sooner. Uh, and at the same time, uh, deal with some of these absenteeism issues. So that's the next thing on my plate. So uh, I may be back on your show uh, uh, with other <laughs> details as we move forward. You've got a lot of headaches in your future. Minister Clement, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you.